it's review time. While you're here, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Also, check out and subscribe to my group channel, Comic Frontline, where the Frontline 6 come together every Tuesday night at 10 p.m. Eastern Time for Frontline Live to discuss all the latest news in geek culture and our top 5 comics of the week. Continue the conversation on the Frontline Discord. Be sure to check out ComicFrontline.com for the latest previews, reviews, news, and interviews, along with fun, unique features and daily updates. And don't forget to follow me, Comic Book Theater. Media Manus and Comic Frontline on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Hey everybody out there in Ranger Nation, welcome back to Comic Book Theater. Jay here with another toy review. Today I'm going to be reviewing Power Rangers Lightning Collection Mighty Morphin Goldar. And let's take a look at this package, shall we? So as you can see, it's on the front. I love the um, package, the art on these packages. They're just so freaking brilliant. Here's the little perspective shot, which shows you the, all of the art. Here's the back, nice pose there from Goldar, okay, here's the other side, um, nothing on the top, here's the bottom and the UPC for those people who want that. Now I will say that this is a um, GameStop exclusive, so you can't get this anywhere except for GameStop.com or inside your local GameStop. Um, but let's get this out of the package, shall we? Okay, everyone. So now it's out of the package, and we got them. We got all the accessories in the front. So we're gonna take a look at that first, okay? So of course he comes with his wings, which I'm gonna attach. So I just want to show these. They are articulated. You know, they do come down like that. They can go up a little bit, and when they go on, they can go in and out. So. I will show that more when I get onto it. So let me put these aside for a second. He also comes with two hands. The right hand with a choke hold. So he can grab you by the throat and be like. Arr! And then he has a closed fist. It comes with two sword holding hands. Or weapon holding hands. For his sword that you know has some good detail. But lacks in paint. So, I would say that it could have been painted a little, because there's some gold that detail that could be right around here and up here on the blade itself. I think there's some on the handle as well. So, that's all missing. And the special effect just slides right in very nicely. As you can see, that's all you got to do. Is just go like that and like that. It looks really nice. I like that the, so far the energy effects... Haven't really duplicated yet, I don't think. They're similar, some of them, like the Jason and Lord Zed, but they are different. Um, so I like that. I like that each one of them is different and unique for the character. So let's get rid of this. Let's go on to Goldar himself, okay? So first we're going to put on these wings. As you can see from the back, he doesn't have wings, but he does have the little pegs. He has a little tail that's kind of malleable, but not really. It's attached to his skirt, so... Let's put on these wings, and there is a correct way. This goes on this side. So let's just peg it right in. Alright, and then Lord Zed has given him back his wings. Because we should never have taken them from him. Okay, so he's he's really sturdy. I'll tell you that. Like in the packaging, he the package feels so much heavier than any of the other ones. And let's just move these. Again, they can move. They could go up, you know, if you want to make it more like that. This one seems a little bit droopy, I guess. Um, maybe hit that with a little bit of a dryer or something to get that right. But there you go. You can get him some good poses with that. Um, his wings, maybe like that. Let me just tuck them in for this. All right, so let's go on to the um, review. So, um, I know a lot of people are talking about the head, so let's just take off his head real fast. His head does come off, and it is, um, two pieces, so you do get the little hair piece, and then you get the helmet, um, head piece, which, very nice detail in there. And Goldar looks really super weird without his, um, head. <laughs> let's put this back on, and then we'll put the head back on, so he can be whole again. That's something that Rita should have done. Took off his head. Um, you know, that would have been very 
um, dramatic for that. Alright, so his head is limited because of the sh um, armor and because of this. So it does turn that much and it does turn this much. It would be able to turn more if it wasn't for the armor and everything. It goes up that much and it goes down that much. So not much head movement because of this. And the armor is all very malleable. It's very detailed. It has nice little etching and designs in there. I like how the gold on here is two different colors. And I don't know if it comes up on camera because when I've seen reviews, it doesn't really come up. But this is better gold than I thought it was going to be. It looked very yellowish. But in person, it does look a little bit more like the back of the package. It's not that gold, but it's better than what you see on screen and pictures and stuff. So, um, yeah, there's all this nice little etching and stuff, the details on there, and it's a little bit darker than the rest of the armor, which I like. Um, so, he does have the butterfly out, butterfly in, he gets the, um, arms go up this far. The armor does not inhibit his, um, arm movement at all, really. He has the upper bicep, he has the double jointed elbow. He has the wrist and the, he, does he have pivot? No, I don't think he has pivot on his wrist. Yeah, he does. Okay, it does. It's just, there you go. It pivots. Um, he has the um, upper diaphragm. He has the ab crunch. So he can go forward this much because of the armor. And then you can go backward this much because of the armor. Again, that does um, inhibit it, his movement just a little bit with that. But I don't think it's really that bad because it looks really good. He can go out this far with the splits. Um, goes up this far. The armor doesn't stop him. His booty does, though, because he only goes back this far like everyone else. He does have the um, upper thigh. Let's see. Get it all the way around. Um, double knee. Does he have a boot? No, he doesn't have a boot. But he does have a foot. So his foot does go all the way. It goes up, it goes back, um, and it pivots. So he has the full, instead of the boot, he has the, um, foot just goes. I like it. I think this is a really cool figure. I think it has a lot of details on it. Um, the wings, look at those wings. I mean, like, the feathers all have nice little etching in them. It's so much detail on it. So, so much in the back, too. Like, the detail does not stop. Like, you know, it goes all the way around. So, all this, even, like, where the, on top of this part, there's detail in there. I don't know how much you can see of that. But, like, there's detail there. There's detail on his legs, on the back of his legs, on the front of his legs. It was all detailed, and I really do appreciate that um, extra effort that they did there with the detailing and how it's a slightly different shade of gold than the, um, the rest of the figure. The red looks really nice, too. I love this face sculpt. I mean, this face sculpt is friggin' awesome. He looks so terrifying with that. Um, I love it. I just think this is such a great Goldar figure. Um, really helps with your collection. So, let's see how he compares to some of that collection. Um, when he fights Tommy, the Green Ranger. You know, Goldar and Tommy had a, have a history. So, let's see them together. Tommy's just a tad bit shorter than him, which he should be. Um, let's move him over here a little. Move them both over here a little. See if that will stay. Oh, come on, Goldar. There you go. Why are you fighting with me, Goldar? And then we got Lord Zed. Just a little bit taller than Goldar, maybe? Just a little bit. Um, maybe the same size as Goldar, you know? So, that's, that's cool. Um, can't wait to put them on my display. And let's see him beside a, le a legacy collection, which is the Lord Draken. So, uh, we know he's going to be, Draken's going to be a little taller. Okay, so, um, yeah, that's the comparison, so, um, I really like this, I thought it was, I think it's really cool, 
Um, let's put his sword in his hand real fast so we can see that. Um, there you go. Um, yeah, I think this is a really cool figure. I can't wait to get this on my display. I can't wait to set up my um, whole diorama display that I'm working on. Um, but, yeah, let me know in the comments if you got this. This is a GameStop exclusive, so you can only get it at GameStop. Let me know what other ones you got in your collection right now. Which other ones are you looking forward to? Which ones do you hope that they will come out with? Let me know all that and more in the comments below. Until the next review, may the power protect you.